guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of your color profiles from your logo. So in this example, I have a custom uh, purple that I've created for this dog logo. And I want you to open up your swatch panel. So let's just clear out all the swatches you're not using. And we're going to just put in the ones that we are. So I have it selected and in my swatches, my fill, I'm just going to select that fill and drag it into my swatch panel to save that. Now I'm going to double click on that and when I open it up I can see this is an RGB color mode. So these are my RGB settings. It also will show it on the top on the name. So that's red 145, green is 100 and blue is 204. So I will say okay. Now I want to find out what the equivalent is as CMYK. So what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate that swatch. So I'm just going to come down here and say new swatch. Now in here, I want the color mode to be CMYK. So I'll select CMYK and notice my values have these decimal points. So, you know, the, the decimal points are, are so minor. I'm just going to round them up or down. So just to keep it nice and even. So I'll do 53 and 68 and zero and zero. And that will change my swatch name as well. So these are the values you will add into your style sheet. 53, 68, 0, 0. And I will say OK. Now notice the difference between CMYK and RGB. RGB seems to be quite a bit brighter than CMYK. And that is because the gamut of RGB is a lot wider than CMYK. CMYK is just for printing, right? So we don't have the, uh, the gamut that we do in RGB for printing. However, we do have Pantone, and that's where we're going to find how to get our Pantone swatch. So from here, I need to go and select Recolor Artwork. Now, this is a little icon that I have up here, but you can also get to it under the Edit menu, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. So I'm going to click on that, and it will come up, uh, panel will come up. So what this does is it will recolor, select colors based on colors that you um, ask for. So I'm going to go to create a Pantone color book. Now down in this icon where it says limits the color group to the colors in a swatch library, we want to limit it to only Pantone. So I'm going to click on that. Come down to color books. And I have the color book Pantone solid coated. And so I'm going to select that one. And this is a good one to use. It's um, more of a standard default um, book that you'll have. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see at the top that this swatch changed. Now the little dot on the corner indicates this is a Pantone swatch. So I'll just say OK. And what it's done is it's added it to my swatch panel. Now if I hover over it, it says Pantone 7676C. If you have a Pantone book, you can take a look at that number to see if that is indeed the, the, the color that you want. If it's not, you can adjust it and you can find your color book for Pantone in the swatch panel drop down, open swatch library, color books, and then you have your Pantone. So you have metallics, pastels and neons, all these different um, colors. So I'm going to select that color coded and it comes up and you can see all the different Pantone colors in that particular book. So if I want to select Pantone 7676, I would just come in here, 76, and I can see that pop up there. So that is if you want to match something in a book or um, a number that you want to try to find, you can use the search tool. So there we have our RGB, our CMYK, and our Pantone. Now the hex code, well the hex code is very easy. So if we go into um, my, uh, my swatch panel over here, I'm going to click on RGB. And then on my fill, I'm just going to double click that. And I'll come up with my color picker. And we can see this little hashtag. That number right there is my hex code. So I will just copy and paste that into my style sheet and OK. All right, so there you have it. Those are all the four color profiles for your logo.